chairpersons and my learned audience. Uh, good afternoon. I am Dr. Iftakar from NICVD. My job is, has become easier as my previous teachers have presented their cases. My presentation is about an approach to a patient with reduced heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. It's a very busy slide, but just mention the case. My patient is a 60-year-old man who came to me with orthopnea PND and severe effort intolerance, diagnosed as a case of his acute LVF, and he was hospitalized. And during his hospitalized period, he had an episode of uh, uh, cardiac arrest. And he is a cardiac survivor. As you can look, his nt pro BNP was quite high, 3,472. Serum creatine was 1.6, and echo diagnosis is consistent with ICM. So my diagnosis is heart failure with reduced fraction, with post saving status, cardiac arrest survivor. He was in NHA class three. So as you know, the heart failure EAC has given a new definition by which we can define the heart failure properly. And the diagnosis is based on the echo parameters and also anti pro BNP. The classification has been, has been already described, so I'm not going through it. The goals of primary therapy is to reduce the symptoms to prolong survival and improve quality of life and prevent disease progression. For this, the Fantastic Four has been initiated. But how we should start the Fantastic Four? Should we all start all the drugs together? No. We do have some options. There are several recommendations, but I find this recommendation from Portuguese Heart Journal by Silva Cordosa very interesting because they have divided the patient groups into two places. One, patients with diabetes mellitus, other with non-diabetic patients. As my patient is diabetic, so those two steps, initiation of drugs should be HGL221 inhibitor, ARNI, and beta blocker in the first choice. And second, after within four to six weeks, we should start a MMRA. So the patient was getting these drugs, and I optimized the patient with ARNI, MRA, 50 mg BD, and HGL2 initially, and stopped the reduce the amitron to 100 milligram BD, stop unnecessary drugs, and to improve symptoms, fusomite and trimetazinine. And after four weeks, I've initiated beta blocker and replaced it with it. So after three months of follow-up, his condition, his symptom was in foot pain, and his echo showed EF around 25 to 30%. So what should we next do? We should have to have reduced hospitalization for selected group of patients. There are several indications for this. We can use dietaries, and easy, as my patient was ischemic episode, I have the option of using ICD or CITD. So I go for further evaluation. On evaluation, on ECGIC, there is no QR. Absence of QR, evidence for there may be reversible with your heart. And only thing it is important, that's QT prolongation, 514 milliseconds. And on MPI perfusion imaging, there is a fixed defect, and echo was similar to before. So after considering all the issues, I go in for ICD implantation on November 2021, it was a dual-cell After implementation of the the patient's improvement was tremendous. His symptoms were removed, improved mental quality of his life, and the disease progression was halted. And preventive measures reduce the sanction morbidity. I have installed the ICD. And the next follow-up, when he come about one month back, I don't have the picture with me right now, his EF was around 30 to 35 percent, and he was going through his normal process life. I do have some key message regarding the presentation of my presentation. The key message is patient with heart failure with reduction infection should be treated aggressively. And there shouldn't be any clinical uh, statement inertia. By inertia, I mean you have to start the medication, whether the, how much the lower dose it may be. The combination of RNA beta blocker, MRN, HLTO2 inhibitor should be initiated early. Benefit is substantial, as evident by the reduction of the hospitalization and mortality. That is true for my patient. And at the end, the conclusion, the progressive nature of heart failure with urination infection requires multifactorial therapeutic intervention. Tailored drug therapies offer effective therapeutic options for the patient, which are flexible and can be individualized according to the need of the patient. All four drugs should be introduced at a low dose during the initial four to six weeks and should be updated within eight weeks period. And RCD and CTD is recommended for reduce the risk of sudden death and all case mortality in selected group of patients with symptom treating heart failure patient. Thanks God. Thank you very much. <laughs>